Whereas the gap is nine points with ten games to go, is there a belief that you can close it? Well, um, I think the main thing for us is to try and pick up as many wins as possible in the remaining fixtures. Um, you know, if we can win every game, then I think we'll have a chance. Do you feel that you can at least put the pressure on? Listen, we've had a decent season. Um, in patches, there's you know times where we could have done better, but on the whole, I think we've done all right. Um, I think the main thing for now to the end of the season is, like I say, to try and pick up as many wins as possible and see where that takes us. Do you feel that you can, does the squad feel that there's a momentum there to generate that consistency in the, in the running? I mean, the, the, the you know, feeling in, in dressing room is really good at the moment. Um, attacking wise, we've been doing really well, um, you know, clean sheet in the last game. So I think the momentum's building and you know, if we can keep picking up fixtures, then you know, we'll see where that takes us. Where's I saw you tweeting yesterday after the... <laughs> kind of a cut thing over your, your thoughts on how goalkeepers are yeah. judged these yeah. days and yeah. expanding that wee bit and do you just feel that like these guys you guys in your position are going to get well, I've bit my tongue for a while on that to be honest um, you know I just think these days pundits are a little bit harsh on the goalkeepers um, some pundits have had fantastic careers themselves but uh, just not as a goalkeeper so um, you know it's a little bit of a specialist position and I think at times um, the criticism with the goalkeepers is a little bit a little bit over the top, if I'm honest. Has that ever been something you felt has been perhaps directed at you, or have you had experience of that? I mean, I know you had your head cup against Air a couple of weeks ago, but again, you, you, no, you no, know, no, 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 that? That something no, 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 not really on a personal level. It's just uh, observation sometimes when I'm sitting at home watching the telly. Um, you know, the football on the weekend sometimes uh, some of the goalkeepers get picked on a little bit. Um, fortunately, I haven't been one of those at the minute, so. Just don't start now. <laughs> Probably need more ex goalkeepers as pundits. Yeah, yeah, I mean, a yeah, I mean, there's a few, um, but I think we need a few more just to get you know a little bit of a more uh, specialist uh, opinion. You've had quite a consistent back four in front of you for the past few weeks. Is that something you find quite helpful? I mean, it's always helpful if the back four, even the team, settled. Um, sometimes you get injuries and players coming in. Uh, sometimes you can't avoid that. So um, you know, game by game by game, it can change. But um, yeah, I think the boys that have come in have done really well and, um, you know, like I said, a clean sheet in the last fixture to help be, build the confidence. What kind of impact do you think Russell Martin's had on that since he came in? He's done really well. Um, a goal on a weekend, I'm not sure about the celebration, to be honest. <laughs> uh, you could tell he's not scored uh, uh, many in his career without celebration, but no, he's done really well. Um, you know, you can see how much it means to him to play for the football club, so, you know, he's been a big player for us. Does it take time to sort of build up a... The communications and uh, things like that, that when you get a new sort of set and a half pair in front of you in the film, does that sort of take to, to come to fruition? Yeah, it does. Um, I think he's playing on, on the left side as well, and he's right footed. Uh, I think so, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, you know, sometimes it can be a bit, little bit different uh, if you've got, uh, you know, I think it was Danny there in the first part of the season, it's uh, a little bit different sometimes. Uh, when you're playing out, the, the balls you have to give each player, sometimes you have to take that into consideration. So uh, that can take some time, but no, um, uh, we're building a relationship game by game. Did that, t that trip to Florida, did that help build up those, those relationships? Yeah, I mean, it's a good trip, a positive trip. And, you know, the boys that we signed come in and train really well, had um, good fixtures out there as well, so um, and better weather as well. So no, a, a good all round trip. I saw something start on Twitter the day, I think, over the last six games. Rangers in terms of current form or, or, or top, is, it, is, it, is there a feeling that the team has still got more levels to go, that you're, you're, you're improving as, as every week goes on? Yeah, I think we're just getting into our stride. Um, the new additions have certainly um, had an impact on the team. Um, but I think performances at the moment are good. Um, if we can keep that up to the end of the season, then um, that'll be pleasing. I'm sure the fans um, are excited at the moment um, with how we're playing. So, like I said, if we can keep up to the end of the season, pick up uh, as many points as possible, we'll see where that takes us. You've got a three-point gap over Aberdeen now in, in second place. You've um, been in second place before a couple of times and yeah. let it slip. Is it how important is it now to, to make sure that that lead sticks and second place is a, is a minimum is, is what you, where you finish? Um, yeah, I mean, you've got to be cautious of the teams behind you, but I mean, our focus is always to, to look up, not behind. So, uh, like I said, if we take care of our business, it doesn't matter what anyone else behind us behind us does. Sorry. Has there been any update in your contract situations? Or? Um, no, no, I mean, I signed an extension in the summer. Um, I think it's uh, an agreement between myself and the club where we look at um, where we are at the end of each each season, sorry. So, um, I think that'll be a uh, talk to have at the end of the season. You've won one and last one against St Johnston um, this campaign. Um, 
having strength in January, how confident are you of sustaining a run, getting another run under your belt? Um, I mean, St Johnston are a difficult side to play against, very physical side, I do well on set pieces, um, get bodies forward quickly on the counter-attack. Um, I think it will be uh, a decent game, it's always a decent game against them, so I think the main thing is that we go there and just play our, um, our natural game and try and uh, build on the momentum and, you know, like I say, definitely look to get three points in that one. Well, that result against them at Ibrox last time out, maybe spur you on for this one? Yeah, yeah, um, definitely. Uh, like I say, they're a decent side and always give us a good game. So I think the main thing is to go there and try and control the game and, like I say, pick up three points. The results like that, the frustration, perhaps that, you know, if, if you manage to do better on one or two occasions like that, then perhaps you might be a wee bit closer. Yeah, yeah. I mean, hindsight's a wonderful thing. Uh, you can say that probably about every team in, in, in the league. Uh, there's games where you, you should pick up points and you don't, and that's football, it's part and parcel. And, you know, um, if we can try and uh, convert performances into wins or, or draws into wins, then, you know, we'll be in a better place.